guys, it's Tori and I'm here right now with Devin from Icy Stars. How's it going? It's going good. <laughs> we've done like 15 takes of this interview film being real with you guys, but we're here in Orlando. We've already broken the ice, so. Yeah, yeah, we're comfortable yeah. with each other now. It's like we've been having this conversation and now you're just butting in, so. How could you guys? Very rude, very rude, but you can stay. Yeah, uh, we'll we still, love having you here. We do. Yes. yes. You're welcome. <laughs> so we're going to start with some finish the sentence questions for you here. Oh, are we? We are. I did not expect that. Isn't that a shocker? It's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm right. just throwing some curveballs here you tonight. Are. Um, so the first one here, the most surreal moment of your career so far was when? Huh. <laughs> <Get> <laughs> I here. just answered this, so <laughs> we're going to try this again. Um, I said, and I, I still feel the same way since yes. a few seconds ago, <laughs> that um, my favorite my most surreal moment was Warp Tour 2013 yes. in uh, Detroit. We played the main stage, and um, it was really cool because you know you're in your hometown and you wanna you wanna put on the best show you can. So when you're moved to main stage for one day and mm -hmm. it's in your hometown, it means a lot. The, the crowd is the show for us. So when you have your family and friends on stage, I think they understand that a little bit more because yes. they get to see the crowd. They're not really watching you; they're watching the crowd. Mm -hmm. And the crowd just went off, so it was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And so next finish the sentence here, the first concert you ever attended was? Well, the first concert I ever attended was my dad's. My dad oh. was in a band, um, and they were called the Teen Angels. They actually toured with like, the Beach Boys and stuff. What? Yeah. I did not know that. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, most people don't. I don't really flaunt that around, but um, <laughs> my dad was in a band, and uh, you know, I grew up going to his shows, and he handed me my first guitar, and you know, handed my brother his first drum set. Wow, runs yeah. in the blood. And so next one here, one song you have on repeat right now is? I have an album on repeat right now. Okay, and I can't me. pick a song because I, I love the journey it takes you from start to finish, mm -hmm. but it's, um, the, the artist, is, his name is Lido, L-I-D-O, okay. and the album's called Everything, and it is seriously. Everything? So, it's everything <laughs> right now to me, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I've been listening to it every single day, and I mean, it's cool because like, I fall in love with a lot of music all the time, mm -hmm. but to fall in love with the whole album front to back does not happen to me often. My fans would be very surprised to understand what I like. Mm. This is not necessarily what I play. Right. But I think it's really what makes our music what it is because I'm able to take my own influences and um, and infuse it with my influences from an earlier day, you yeah. know, from when I was more so into like the work tour punk rock kind mm -hmm. of scene, you know, post hardcore shit. Like, you know, I. That's most of my roots, and I love them. I always will, but I'm in a stage in my life where I'm listening to some crazy stuff. So <laughs> it's cool to be able to take it and put it into this, you know, exercise that in our music. It's nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you definitely hear that with a lot of bands, that they don't necessarily listen to the music that they play, and I think that definitely helps with the diversity of it. So, it's a really awesome. good icebreaker when you're meeting a band to talk, start talking about what kind of music you listen to, because chances are they really don't listen to what they play. Yeah. It makes sense, because that's, that's why they're able to innovate, because mm -hmm. they're they're listening and they're they're introducing versions of what they listen to to our fans you know mm -hmm. and uh it's cool yeah it's it's kind of how music is you know I mean, definitely i think that that that's like the circle of life with music yes and so speaking of the music you play treehouse is the latest album that's out now yeah. this came out not too long ago and this was your first release in three years yeah which is pretty crazy and you guys have a lot evolved a lot in those three years so what exactly happened between albums that sort of influenced you guys what what experiences did you have um with new demons it was an interesting moment because with new demons um it was really heavy um but the vocals and the melody were very very uplifting you know mm -hmm. and um I always want to have an aggressive. I want to have an aggressive message in our music. I think that sometimes to sing and be all happy is not where you want to be in music. You know, sometimes you need to yell. Sometimes you need to scream, and sometimes you need the music needs to emulate the same as the vocals. And I understand that, which is so great with my band because I can do that because we've done it. You know, but with Treehouse, it was like I was in a crazy moment in my life. Like I was in a six-year relationship up until. Um, three years ago so um, I n had never written about heartbreak in my whole life you know I've, I've usually write about the world and the problems in the world something we can all relate to uh, mainly because I've never experienced heartbreak you know and I went through it really hardcore and uh, I think it was it was cool to write about you know because mm -hmm. I was able to write about it in a way that I feel like I haven't heard from any other bands you know okay. or any other musicians and uh, 
it was great like and I listen back to it and I choke up every time because I talk about some serious pain mm -hmm. and pain that like I don't know just pain that you're not pain that I don't talk about I can really only write about you know what right. I mean because I'm a man and I got <laughs> you know what I mean like, whatever the fuck that means but um, yeah it was in Treehouse was interesting it was different in every way going into it lyrically musically members like you know we got four yeah. now we, we had six so it was all different yeah, and so obviously you guys have changed a lot between Treehouse and New Demons. And so how do you strike a balance between evolving and, you know, experimenting with the sound you want to have plus making the fans happy? How do you balance that? Intuition, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. really know. Like, you just got to have, like, I I always trust that my fans trust me as a okay. musician and as a writer, you know? And, and they respect my direction. They want to... Mm -hmm. Part of... I feel like part of loving a musician is loving where he goes. Mm -hmm. Not where he is, but where he's heading, you know? Um, I know because I've, you know, I've followed a lot of, I've followed musicians into the fire, you know? I've walked with them into the fire, you know? And watched them crumble, you know? But I was such a fan that I respected not just the growth, but the, the demise, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's kind of, it's the story, you know? And it's like, so for me, it's like, as a musician, we take chances and, Sometimes that leads into the fire, but I think that um, our in, our intentions are always to be writing better music, and yeah. I think our fans need to know that and, and at least be hopeful of that. In Treehouse, I think it was it was a, an eye opener to a lot of fans to be like, "Yo, like this may not be where they started, but holy shit, I like this still." Yes. You know? So yeah. Yeah, it's evident that you guys have a definitely really dedicated fan base and they stuck with you through this chapter as well. Yeah. And so for anybody who maybe hasn't heard this new album yet, which songs do you think they should check out as a first impression that you think maybe overall encompasses the new album the best? Well, the opener, Calm Snow, is, is a great introduction because um, it doesn't... I think it really gets you comfortable with where we're heading in this record. But then you have Break, that is the second song, that shows mm -hmm. you, yo, like, we're not... We're not given up our roots like this is this is still very much icy stars and then you get further into the record and you're introduced to songs like two hearted that will for old, any old school fans out there that were there since 3d it's like two hearted has such a 3d vibe to be honest with you i would say um to listen to the whole record like i think that there's something on there i think every song takes you on a different journey all in has a little bit of hip-hop vibe okay. and uh we've been playing that live and it's been going over super well because you have this predominantly metal tour mm -hmm. you know a band like us come on stage it's already different and then you have us swing a little bit of hip-hop in there it's sweet yeah sick so yeah. it sounds like the track list on this album you did that very deliberately yeah. yeah 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 as diverse as we are we never like go into a record being like oh we gotta throw this curveball in there it's not it's not like that it's all very organic you know mm -hmm. it's it's like the curveball just always ends up being there and, mm -hmm. I, and I think that has something to do with just you know the way I explained how we are as people and as right. musicians and music lovers it's like we listen to everything so you want to shove everything in there you know what I mean it's really I feel that. yeah yeah and so last question here about your music and everything like that um, you guys have been in the news a lot with lineup changes and different things like that so with that can come some misconceptions so what is the number one thing you want to clear up as far as misconceptions go about the band what it's it's really hard to tell because so far, I mean, the breakup with Zach and Jimmy were, was overall really positive. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, you guys handled that um, well, I feel like. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, I still see Jimmy and Zach, and we talk all the time. Like, we yeah. have a very, like, my, my band, we're, we're such close friends, and I'm, I, we're made up of really great, um, big-hearted, you know, people. So when we broke up, it was sad. We broke up with those guys, it was sad. You know what I mean? Just like any breakup, whether you're in a relationship or a friendship or a band or whatever the fuck it is, it's like... It's sad when you see people go that have been there since the beginning, but they understood why, you know, and they understood that this was just part of our journey, and um, which is why we're and, and it was done in a way that was very, like, like, yo, I care about you, like, right. this is just what needs to happen, and, and I think you know that, like, that's the way we approached it, and I can never speak ill of either one of those guys, ever, and um, it's really funny because the fans were more angry than we were at each other, you know? Yeah. So I guess um, the only misconception I can say is, like, I hope that if anybody thinks that we don't still care about each other, that we do. I, I wish the best for those guys, and, and 
the best is really kind of happening for them. You know, they're both on their own journey now that they like created over the last couple of years, and okay. they're doing great things, and they're I feel like they're happier than they've ever been, mm-hmm. and I feel like we're happier than we've ever been. So it's like we're all happy. You know, yeah. like I hope that our fans know that and they love that about the decision. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely one of the smoothest transitions I feel like I've seen from a band. Most I think bands hate each other well. after they break up, and it's so yeah. sad to see, but we just don't. Like, we just couldn't, you know? It's not in our cards, and it's not really in our genes. We really are best friends. Like, mm-hmm. we grew up together. I've known yeah. these guys since I was 13 years old. Like, there's no hate. There's no bad blood. Um, I think there's a little bit of sadness, and that's yeah. just because you see something that existed for so long one way, and it had to come to an end, and mm-hmm. that's sad, and it's natural. Yeah, but it happens, and you guys handled it well, and it's so great totally. to see you're all on good terms. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. Always great talking to you. I'm glad we you. made it through. It, yes. I didn't see anything happen all day. So, <laughs> we didn't yeah. have any technical difficulties. We're doing Not yet. great. <laughs> I would be very ironic if it just cut out right now. <laughs> I would be so sad. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, and everybody watching, make sure you check out Treehouse if you haven't already. Subscribe for more interviews, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.